up everybody this is Corn Beaner. Today I'm going to bring you my unboxing and my quick overview for the ASUS VH236 LCD monitor. ASUS is one of those companies that kind of goes synonymous with PC and PC gaming as most of their products that they produce is geared towards more of the geek um, type players such as myself and all the other geeks out there in the world. So without further ado let's kind of get started with this. Alright so opening the box and everything we'll see that you, um, the the box contains uh, kind of a uh, owner's package. It has an audio cable, a CD user guide, a message to kind of you know recycle everything that you don't use anymore instead of just tossing it away. ASUS is one of those companies that kind of you know, is a big pusher for uh, green technology. A, a quick start guide, your power cable, a DVI cable, a little bag with the ASUS VIP members guide, a monitor base, VGA cables, and of course the monitor. Uh, setting up the monitor is easy all you gotta do is find a nice sturdy surface place the base down line up the bottom opening of the monitor just kinda place it right on top give it a little push from the top of the monitor and you should hear a click that click lets you know that it's secured and the base ain't going anywhere if you don't hear the click you might wanna check it before moving or anything else cause it's possible that you might be able to drop it uh, removing the base is just a simple again just find a nice sturdy base make sure that the base itself can kind of teether off of whatever you place it on whether it be a chair or a table or any type of flat surface <clears throat> there's two little prongs in the bottom of it what you're going to do is you're going to grip both of them and push them towards each other and then slide out the base while holding the bottom of the monitor it should come out fairly easy if you have to use a lot of force you're not pushing the, the prongs close enough together so just kind of push them and then kind of slide it out you should be fine um, looking at the monitor on the right side there's a sticker that kind of has all the features that this I guess is are the selling points for this monitor uh, one of the main ones is it does full 1080p resolution so you get all 1920 by 1080 lines of resolution it has a two milliseconds response time so which is one of the big reasons why this monitor has become so popular over the last two or three years it has a 20,001 contrast ratio and unlike some monitors out there right now this actually has built-in speakers which is a very very big godsend if you're into gaming and you kinda need a monitor for on the go also has an SPDIF uh, sound outlet and a couple of stickers in the bottom again pushing the fact that ASUS is a green tech uh, happy company uh, moving to the front panel of it there are six buttons uh, in the front for the for the user to kind of um, navigate through any options on here it has a power button which I skipped through in the beginning has your up adjust the menu right between that and what's next to it is the lower adjust uh, screen modes and that's it actually and the screen modes have I believe five preset modes uh, it has a gaming mode a theater mode and a nighttime mode and I believe two other ones that you can kind of toggle preset or else you can just go completely manual and find the setting that's right for you uh, flipping the monitor over at the rear right you'll see that it has the rear inputs this monitor can take uh, a signal from HDMI DVI VGA and also has your audio in and your SPDIF sound outlet um, on the back left of it is the power jack um, this monitor became very popular about two years ago with the release of Street Fighter as Evolution the biggest fighting game tournament and probably the whole free world decided to strictly use these monitors to provide their competitors with the best possible scenario when it comes to gaming and after testing this a little bit I have to agree with how this monitor actually works um, most monitors nowadays comes with a 5 millisecond response response time instead of the 2 milliseconds and while it doesn't seem like a lot I'm not saying I'm the best at executing stuff but I feel that that little less lag that the signal or the image is given to the players it allows you that microsecond that you need to actually pull off a combo or pull off stuff that you may be dropping it it's weird how it works but it actually does wind up working I bought this for about 160 bucks because I, I needed another monitor for several things that I plan on doing and believe me for the 160 to the 180 bucks that this can be found online this is an excellent excellent monitor uh, I'm gonna give this monitor five out of five stars uh, honestly this is probably the best monitor at 23 inches that you can find anywhere if you're a gamer and just need casual 
um, casual computing, whatever, this monitor is it. If this monitor came with a remote control, honestly, I would replace my 23 inch Samsung with it and use this as my TV. But as it stands, you know, I'm only going to use it for gaming and for whatever little projects I have going. And to leave off this video, um, I'm going to show you guys some really, really bad uh, gameplay footage of me and my brother playing Ultimate uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Again, we're not really good at this game, we just play it for fun. But hopefully this video will kind of show, I guess, the quality you can expect from this monitor. This is all, you know, out of the box, fresh plug, really no adjustments, this is how it looks out of the box. And if you think it looks nice at the end of this video, in person, it looks even nicer. So yeah, 5 out of 5, ASUS VH236 LCD monitor. Go out and buy it. If you need a monitor, you will not be sorry. This has been Cornbean. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.